Uh, we don't want to, uh, to, to, to put money in front of other more important things, but we do say that money is very important. And so as we as a church invite you to participate in the life of the church, giving is one of the ways we do that. We teach about it on a regular basis. Uh, but just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean it's not important. So if that's the case for you, this is the part of the sermon we say, hey, there's the gray box. But also in your bulletin, if you turn there, I made a special note about giving here at the village because I think if you're going to know us, if you've not been around for a while, I think it's really important for, for us to share just a couple of minutes about our heart for giving here uh, in that uh, what, we, what we rely on is obviously the scriptures. Uh, there, there is a practical, relevant uh, component to giving and, and, that, and our generosity uh, but one of the one of the verses I, I mentioned, and there is really, I think, the key context of how we approach this issue of if I'm a follower of Jesus and I'm in the lifeblood of the local church, what does it look like for me to participate in all the ways? I, I had this really interesting conversation. I had a, a lunch with a pastor this week who pastors a church about our size, and I was sharing with him uh, the method that we how we fund a lot of our outreach through our year-end giving offering. We call it our Christmas conspiracy. And I shared with him that we raised $58,000 this year. We do this every year, but this year we had raised $58,000. He was blown away, like really taken back. And he said, well, how many people participated in that? And I said, I think it was, you know, 75 or 76 families or individuals. And he said, you must have a lot of rich people at your church. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and here was the part that got interesting. I said, you know, I know most everybody that goes to our church, certainly those that are giving and uh, uh, I think we do have a fair share of people that God has blessed. They're business owners, they're folks with advanced degrees, they have places of influence in the culture, and they, yes, they are generous. But we also have a whole lot of people in those offerings for that Christmas conspiracy was a whole lot of $5 gifts. Uh, and so, yeah, maybe, but I think what we have here at the Village is this beautiful mix of people from all over the socioeconomic range. And he said this, he said, that sounds a lot like the early church. And it just touched my heart because I think he's right. I, what I know about this church and, and all that support us, and, and I think when we talk about an issue like money, given the diversity of a lived experience that exists here, I think we have to talk about it in principles. And we talk about the tithe. It's a very important principle. We believe it's a, it's a spiritual discipline. But we believe generosity is about the heart. It's about where God brings you to. And I reference, I'm going to just read to this real quickly. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9, which is a passage that's so powerful. This is the Apostle Paul talking to a church that's taking up an offering uh, about helping others in the kingdom. So I think it's very relevant. He says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Listen to this. Not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, You'll abound in, in every good work. And, and I want you to know that the elders here, and specifically me, is the guy that primarily communicates here and all the ways that we communicate, we take that very seriously. We do not want to stand between you and the blessing that God has for you. We believe this part that says, and God will bless you abundantly. That's God's promise. We're rooted in that. We also believe that there's a heart issue that we invite you into so that you're not giving under compulsion. And so we do not then engage in tactics, gimmicks, <laughs> expansion of the scriptures that would not fall within what we would believe the reasonable interpretation of that, because we believe this is about you and God. It's about, it's about what we did through this fast, and that is giving up, surrendering, calling the Lord Lord of everything in our life, and then not doing things that would lead you to a place of guilt or condemnation. So if I'm talking about money and you're feeling guilty, that's not the intent. Or that I want to motivate you because you're going to get some miraculous payback, right? I give 100 backs, I get a Cadillac or a Lexus or whatever your car of choice is. God blesses in many ways. And so I just thought this morning while we talked about that, and because I put it in the bulletin, and we do, like I said, we, we take a fairly passive approach, I want you to know that that's our heart for giving here and that I'm so grateful uh, for the church and the blessings and the generosity that exists because we do the work we do uh, because of you that are 